Hello everyone, thanks for joining in another episode. And this is the most common question I've been asked many times delivering lectures for career in cloud computing to a number of university colleges students that how do we get into cloud? Uh, it's not a question for getting into IT because the way that things are changing, uh, you need to be looking for your career in cloud. And that's being said, you're supposed to have some basics knowledge. Uh, that's being said, and assuming that you have some basic knowledge, uh, what are the next steps to getting in the cloud where you can understand some basics? So you have an idea for storage, you have an idea for network and all that. But when you want to start your career in the cloud, whether it's AWS or Azure or uh, Google Cloud, uh, they have their certification path. They have their from basic to um, engine and architect level career path. And when you are going for a job market, you need to have a skill set. And for those skill sets, you need to have these concepts uh, very well understood. Because when you're going to do the hands-on, you know what this storage is, type of storage, what the cloud itself, I mean, what's a shared responsibility model? What are different cloud services, IS, PaaS, and SaaS? What are the differences? So without knowing that, you don't want to jump into um, any certification, basically. You don't want to jump into, hey, you know, I want to learn this because if you don't know the basics, you know, it's not going to help you. So for this particular case in this video, I'll walk you through some of the basic fundamental stuff you need to know when you're pursuing a career for Azure or even not if Azure, as I said before, uh, cloud concepts are pretty much the same. Only some of the naming convention is different. So in this case, we'll start with the uh, uh, master Azure from basics, basically, and you can start training. And look at that. Uh, here are some of the stuff uh, which is related to AZ900, which is the Azure Fundamental Certification Career Path, AZ900, where you will learn yourself what are the cloud concepts. Of course, cloud training and instructor-led trainings are more better. But if you're self-taught, self-learner, you can start learning from here and you go one by one. So for example, Azure Data Fundamentals and uh, there are more computer stuff, natural language processing, they're all like basics. So what I'm gonna say, just give an example in this video, what are the Microsoft Azure Cloud concept? So what you're gonna learn in this video is about the introduction and explore the exam study areas. How can you create an Azure account, which is free for the students, you get free $200 credit and some of the stuff. And then uh, you can understand the cloud services, why they are like that. And the types of the cloud, which is IS, PaaS and SaaS, as I told you before. So let me just click on the introduction, kind of give you an idea what is cloud. So it will give you the example. Okay, where is cloud computing platform? Um, and who the audience is, beginner level, right? So not necessarily you need to have an experience, but you already have an experience which is recommended in my opinion. At least I would say one year of IT experience or something you can learn as you go within this course. Uh, it all depends how much time and effort you wanna put. And that really all depends on you. So this course is pretty basic and it talks about all the basics concepts for example, exam outline, if you plan for certification, this is how they're gonna ask. You need to know the concept, 30% or 35% from the Azure services, core services basically, which I'll show you in a, month, in a minute. And privacy compliance, basically 30% pretty much. And what are the billing and pricing model, which is also another important area. So how you create the free account. Once you create the free account, you sign into that and then they go with the case study of Quantoso. And these are the question like, you know, uh, what exam is set for learning path, prepare for you. Fundamental, Azure Fundamental has uh, six, I believe. We just saw for the faster, easiest way. I'm not sure, all sides of purchase, I believe. Fast and easiest way for, for all sides of purchase. I believe, let's see, okay. So maybe four and we go from there and I'm not going to save it. So this is a summary and then you can go to the next topic 
and then you can learn so as i mentioned here is another idea about core concept so if you need to know the core concept of azure what are the core concept you need to learn core services identify solutions and all that stuff so um let me go back and then if we come back here get started with azure fundamentals and then here are more stuff like privacy cloud concept core services so if you go to the core services you have those core services architectural components define your core services and products and then this is where you want to learn about what is azure compute and the concept on the compute then you have virtual machines you're going to learn okay what these virtual machines are what are the app services functions and so and so forth and these are the concept resource group why so so idea here is that you need to know all these basics and exam point of view is all theoretical but again when you're on a job you need to know when you set up your editor you create a subscription when you set up the vm you put them in a resource group how to name the VM. If you're in the US, how to set up a VM in US. And if you're in Europe, then how you change the location, for example. What kind of VM you want, 2019 server, 2016, Linux, you can choose what size you want it, different size, and this is where pricing can go up and down. This is very important, right? So these are the settings there, and then you connect the virtual machines through RDP, as you can see here, and step by step, so if as i said if you are self-taught self-learner just you can watch these things and you can start learning yourself there's a concept for kubernetes and all that stuff so just want to wrap it up and then some billing and you can do the knowledge check here and from there i think you can go on your own and start learning for example uh, service level agreements i wanted to give an idea here uh, as your subscription as your service level agreement basically this is what you need to know uh, means the service uptime sla concept and all that so that's in a nutshell i wanted to explain if you have any question let me know and i'll try to answer those Till then, see you in my next video. Thank you.